Got two portable CD players to look at. Not spending much time on these. Let's get started and see what I've got and whether that works. There's an RCA portable CD player. It just never touched the lens. Was it used for batteries? A couple of uh, AA, I believe. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Somebody left the Panasonic batteries in here and they have basically disintegrated. What do you think the chances of this thing ever working again are? I would say that the chances are probably pretty low, but hey, what the heck. Let's uh, just clean this mess up first and uh, see whether this thing will actually do anything. Gotta get something to clean this mess up with or to touch of battery acid. So much for Panasonic batteries being leak proof. Wonderful. Give me the vacuum cleaner and clean this up. This is the problem with batteries these days is they just corrode for no reason. Uh, I don't know whether this, this is this could very well be ruined, but let's just try a couple of fresh batteries and see whether this thing will uh, try to do anything. Okay, it's got a power control here. Even without a disc, it should try to spin. But I will uh, put a disc in it just for the hell of it, just to make sure. Some of these units had a switch in behind the headphone jack so that if there was something plugged in, they would shut off to save power. So I don't have it hooked up to speakers or anything, but we'll just plug something in and uh, see whether this thing will start to turn. I don't see anything on the display, so I have a sneaking suspicion that this unit is is shot. If nothing else, it's the battery compartment is not passing power, which is a possibility because the batteries were corroded. So it's a possibility that the contacts themselves are no good. So if we give it three volts, we'll see whether it will power up. So the power supply to 3 volts, negative to here, and positive to this one, and just see whether when I put power to it, whether it, it tries to light up, but which it does, it does try to light up, so so therefore, it might just be the, uh, the terminal's got corrosion on it, we'll have to clean this off. And the best way to clean that off is with my little Dremel tool, so I'll just get the little grinding wheel out. We'll grind off some of the corrosion on this one and see whether it will make a connection with the battery and work. Try to expose some bare metal and see whether the battery connections will be restored, which it is. It's got a 45 second uh, buffer on this one, so let's just see whether I fixed it. Plug this in, I gotta hook it up to my amplifier. Connectors. We used to have a word for these, but Unfortunately, it's politically incorrect now, so if I call them what we used to call them, I'll get called out by the, the woke crowd will call me out. Okay, looks like I have a disc in here now. Do I have sound? Volume. 
I think that sound. Doesn't sound great, does it? it sound like it was skipping to me. So it's 45 second read disc, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's got a 45 second buffer to me because it was skipping. ESP Extreme, that's ESP for electronic shock protection. So much for skip protection. Uh, it's not even moving and it's skipping. Like it's not even being touched. You can just imagine what this thing would do if I just so much as breathe on it. Well, I think you know where this is going. This is going in the bin. Where it belongs. What a cheap looking optical pickup on this thing. Does it look at, does it get any cheaper looking than that? Holy crap. Look at the look at this thing. I should pull this apart just to show you guys the inside of it. Maybe maybe we can make it work. Maybe we can make it work better than this. I don't think so. But we take things apart on this channel and uh, I've got nothing else better to do with this than take it apart, so let's just do that. Maybe there's some corrosion in there as well that we can clean up. I doubt it. I don't think that's the problem. I think it's just a piece of junk player. Like everything else that RCA ever made. You know, the running joke what RCA meant, right? It requires constant adjustment. Or requires constant attention. And the place I worked was a, a large. Well, we did we handled Sony too, but we were also a large RCA dealer way back in the day. So when RCA was still RCA, we sold a lot of. RCA product and serviced a lot of RCA product. That was when RCA was still RCA. Then when, when Thompson got the hold of them, well, the, the company just was never the same. Thompson got a hold of the company and ruined them, in everyone's opinion. Okay, well the corrosion did not appear to have gotten out of the battery box, which is good. But this thing's still skipping. Why? Because it's a piece of crap? Maybe? I think that's as good a reason as any if a piece of junk. Corrosion did get onto the top cover, but I don't see any that's gotten onto the board. So this thing's just skipping because the piece of junk is why. 
the motor itself has probably uh, got a problem. Either that or the optical pickup, or it could be the it could be the the uh, traverse as well. The motor that moves the uh, pickup back and forth. Although with the 45 second buffer, it shouldn't uh, skip. Uh, it, it should be reading far enough ahead that it would never skip. But yet it is. Yeah, this thing's this thing's shot. I guess if I push this little switch down here, it will it will spin. We can watch it spinning and playing. Well, this thing's junk, so this thing's absolute garbage, and I'm not spending any time on it. Okay, uh, next one that I've got is this Sony Walkman Digital Mega Base. Got two of them here. And where the batteries go on this? Batteries go in here. Watch it have leaky batteries in it too. But it does, you know. Here we go. Dura crap batteries have leaked for sure. You know, this is giving another lost cause. Why do people do this crap? You know, do, do, do just to piss me off. It's like. Press dot to test. Power check. What a gimmick that was. We know there's not any power in the battery because you know, this one here is all corroded. But, uh, you know, why do people do this? They just, like, this is another lost cause. I know there's going to be another lost cause. But we'll try to get this contact clean in here. Use the Dremel tool in here again and see whether I can get this stupid thing to fire up. as we expose bare metal. This came from the same collection that all those cameras were in, you know, the one that had the nice, was it an icon? That the batteries had been left in and it all corroded and ruined it. Same person left me all this junk, asked me to take a look at it and see if it's any good. Tell them no, it's nothing's any good. Okay, it says hold. Where's the hold button on here? Will it play? This one's supposed to play CDRW discs as well. Well, what do you know this one plays? Volume. up all the way sound this one actually works I wonder if it plays mp3s I doubt it but we'll try 
be a nice one for my car to play CDs in it. it don't, especially if it plays MP3s, so I'll try that. I'm gonna try um, MP3 disc. Is MP3 on here? See if it'll play an MP3 disc. I doubt it. It's probably just audio CD. Sony were kind of slow at jumping on the MP3 bandwagon as far as CDs went. But we'll see. <clears throat> nope. It thinks it's a CD and it's just reading it as a CD. And of course, when you, when you read a MP3 CD as an audio CD, it just shows like 79 minutes because the disc is full. So it does not read MP3. Too bad. That would be nice if it did. But it apparently does read um, it does read CDRW apparently. So let's just see whether it really does. These are off LPs, actually. So it does read uh, CDRW, so this one works. I'm amazed with that corrosion in there that this actually works, but it does, so we're going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching.